Hello there. This is another video, uh, an unboxing video. Uh, question for you. How do you make 50 cows very happy during winter time? Give them something to scratch against. And this is what we have here. So I'm just going to do an unboxing video and show you these. Um, it'll be a couple of weeks before I manage to find, probably find the time to get them up and in place, but long as they're in place for when our cows come in during winter, uh, that's all that matters. So I'm just going to put the camera over here and cut this box open and show you what we're dealing with. So these were provided by a company called Timor Engineering. Fairly new to the market, these type of scratching posts. But I was quite impressed with the design, they look quite buggy. They look like they might last a long time. Thank you, Team Law Engineering. It seems like you well package everything very well. Got in here. So they're fairly simple, really. It's just, if I can have a look now, a very thick piece of industrial durable rubber, which is perfect for a cow if they've got an itchy head. Because it's flexible rubber, I'm assuming I should be able to mount them on like corner posts. Perhaps on a steel girder, and it's just what you need to give a bovine a bit of comfort during winter. There are those winter months when they can't access trees to give themselves a good scratch. Scratching's good for them. They are, uh, you know, they covered in yeah flies, parasites, ticks, lice on them, and it just allows them to have a good itch and help with removal of that. I'm a firm believer that happy cows are healthy cows. So, some fixing rods here. Oh, I can't get any instructions on how to mount them. I think that's right. completely up to myself. I have to figure out how to, how to mount, the, mount these to our walls or barriers. Um, so it'll be a case of having a little bit of a think. I'm just wondering where where they'll be, where the best place will be for them. So that's it, that's our unboxing video for the cow scratcher. Yeah, they weren't, weren't that expensive either. They're a nice bit of kit, I think. So we'll have to see how these perform during uh, the winter months once they're in here. Thanks for watching this, and if you like this video, uh, feel, feel free to like and subscribe to it. And if you join, if you click the link below this video, um, We'll take you to my website where we have our ma uh, my mailing list where I can email you whenever there's any updates or any new videos like this. Thanks for watching.